secret that, that Nintendo Switch Online is an inferior service to what Nintendo used to offer with the virtual console system back on the Wii, Wii U, and Nintendo 3DS. But why why is it, after all this time and all the cries from fans on Twitter and social media, that Nintendo still hasn't released a virtual console equivalent for the Switch? Well, many might I point to the fact that Switch Online is a subscription service. I reckon it's mostly because Nintendo doesn't actually want people to actually own copies of their games. They'd rather have you pay them a monthly subscription in order to access a huge library of games rather than allow you to play them. You can see a comparison with this with uh, Xbox Game Pass, because Xbox Game Pass allows you to actually purchase the games at a discount for playing them on Game Pass. If they're on Game Pass, especially if they're a Microsoft-owned game, you can get a discount on the game when you purchase it on the Xbox Store. You don't get such the privilege with Nintendo Switch Online, which is kind of weird to me, because obviously Nintendo has such a huge catalogue of games from hundreds of systems, well, from, I say hundreds of systems, but like dozens of systems. They've made hundreds of games featuring Mario, Zelda, you know, Luigi, you know, Kirby, all these characters, all these beloved characters, and yet they're, they're not bringing them, bringing a storefront? Why not? Well, like I said, Nintendo wants people to pay a monthly subscription fee, but I also feel like it comes down to more all contracts as well, because obviously, remember, you've got, you've, got, you've got to understand, Nintendo doesn't fully own Pokemon. Pokemon is not something that, that Nintendo has full control over. Likewise, Nintendo obviously has licensing deals with companies like Sega to bring the Mega Drive uh, games to Switch Online. Also, the fact that Nintendo has to license, make licensing deals with other companies like Konami and Capcom to license games to Switch Online. So, why don't they just do a, do a store? Well, I think it also comes down to how much money would you sell these games for. Because obviously, after so many years of people being able to buy, you know, classic Nintendo games on the Wii, Wii U and 3DS, I reckon Nintendo just got sick of it and realised, well, what would we charge for these games? What can we charge for these classic games now? Obviously, if I, if I was Nintendo, I'd charge anywhere between 5 and $20, depending on what the game is. But... We'll have to wait and see if Nintendo ever does decide to do such a thing. Especially as the Switch is the first console generation from Nintendo that's going to carry the, the digital purchase over to the next-gen console, which to me is amazing. So why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you allowing us to access your, the huge library of games and uh, purchase the games? Uh, no, I feel like Nintendo just doesn't care. I feel like Nintendo just doesn't want people to enjoy a lot of the classic games because obviously... That could, like, if they did such a thing with a virtual console service, they could also just easily throw up games from the GameCube you know, DS, Wii as well, alongside the remakes, and I kind of feel like that they don't want to do that, they don't want to do that, even though they can easily capitalise on these popular IPs and these popular franchises, it just feels, you know, empty, soulless. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, do you agree, do you disagree, do you want to see Nintendo bring these games, aims to a virtual console-like service, would you like to see Nintendo make a virtual console-like service? Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, turn notifications. I've been Eve Cade, and I'm signing out. Peace.